A special edition of Out and About today, a conversation with Levi Christ. Now, here's another side to the Tony Award winner with For Good from Wicked. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun. Like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the world. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? It's because I. Wow. Just uh, amazing. So just loved. I could sit and listen to you play and sing Thank all day you. long. Just really Thanks. incredible. So now before we went to the break, we were talking about your coming out. And, and at such a young age, you already had heard the word abomination and were dealing with that. And so. And I'm no different from a lot of people. And, you know, the story itself, I mean, we could sit here for an hour to talk through. But the bottom line was after checking myself into conversion therapy as in eighth grade behind my parents' back, you know, I followed through the same thing a lot of us do. Six years of conversion therapy, a tragic coming out story, which uh, challenged my ability to get an education and employment, which brought me through eight major record labels until I eventually decided, you know what, I have got to be my authentic self and tell people what I've gone through because I just I know that there's other people who need to hear it. And it was so it was tough because I mean in addition to just going through conversion therapy for all of those years, but you were also I mean once once you came out once it was out yes um, you lost your gospel uh, basically following. Um, you yeah, lost, I mean, yeah. as far as the, yeah. the labels, you yeah. lost school. Yeah, I mean, but you know what? It, it, what's amazing to me is I'm really, really proud of being. Bec be in in lieu of that, I'm proud of being uh, one of the pioneers of the out music movement. You know, uh, it may have been because I was not welcome anywhere else, <laughs> but taking the initiative and the boldness to go to our media, to go to our international LGBT media, and say you're not alone. I mean, I think some of my greatest memories now are the last <sighs> 15. 12 years or so where young kids would come up to me you know in 2006 after pride I remember one in particular who's like I almost took my life until the gospel according to Levi was the first time I've ever been told that I was okay oh, wow. you know and and like that to me is like the badge of honor that I wear that still allows me to be a minister of music yeah you know? so it's, it's the rough times you go through that yeah. make you the strongest often and that's Abs oh yeah absolutely are you definitely. kidding me that's what makes us an authority on something that someone needs to hear about now eventually you you just you got your degree even though you were <laughs> tossed out of school because you were gay oh yeah. my gosh yeah yeah oh, I can't even yeah. believe it but yeah. Um, not the first, not the first scenario, actually. Yeah. Too. Uh, uh, there's been other circumstances with lesbian soccer coach yeah, and other yeah, things. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And Lisa's been on the show many times. Um, now, you get your degree. So, how did that feel once you went back and got the, it, the music degree? You know, it really Here reminded me of the importance of us coming home and reclaiming our, our, our place. A lot of us moved to the West Coast, moved to the big city, and you know what? We've lost our ties to our mom, our dad, our brothers, our sisters, our families, and also our territory. Nashville's my home. I mean, this is my territory, and it was so good to come back and say, this town is mine, this degree is mine, this genre of music is mine, this success is mine, and just be able to say, I belong here, y'all, and I'm not letting something of the past to find any more what my future is going to look like. Oh, that is awesome. Now, I want to talk a little bit about your latest CD because you've got a great, we want to show this clip, uh, one of the videos from it, from your liberated CD. Yes. This is Dawn of a New Day, and then yes. we'll talk about what's coming up next. So take a look. Put my blues on, pray my favorite song, take a deep breath and wish away.
now. Shot Up in the Smokies, incredible song from the CD, Liberated. Perfect to kind of, we've got about a minute left, but Donna a new day. So what's uh, next for you? What's coming up? I'm, I love where Donna of a New Day took me even musically because it took me a lot back to my roots and a lot of Liberated was the stuff that people are familiar with or in the past but just layered over with that rootsy East Tennessee influence. So I'm really loving just shaping the new chapter, the new sound and placing it right in that country gospel, honky tonk piano, Americana world that is so natural for me. I think it's just sort of a uh, it's it's a byproduct of being home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's great to have you home. So, uh, again, now in about the last 20 seconds, if you could, if there was the book and the title, and you could write it right now, uh, your life story. Do you have a, a title in mind yet? Yeah. Don't. Uh, I, I've, I, we've only just begun. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> well, that is just terrific. Uh, yeah. my, I cannot thank you enough. This has just been such a pleasure. Thanks for um, having me. Yeah. I, it, so many exciting things happen. You've had a great journey. I feel like journey. I could talk to you for like an oh, hour. I was going to say, we can make this a two-hour special. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, unfortunately, we've got to go, but uh, you come back anytime. Thank you. This is a welcome place for you. Right on. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you for joining us. That's all the time we have for this edition of Out and About Today. We'll see you next time.